everyone. How are you all doing today? I hope everyone's doing really well. Here's my big news. I found out yesterday that I have diabetes. And that really threw me. I don't even have any symptoms. So, I guess I gotta deal with that. Hopefully I can get it down and not have to do any injections. So, let's get upbeat now and check out these adorable new gnomes that the Dollar Tree just got in. And they're actually pretty well made. And I actually made sure they had two feet and two arms. <laughs> they're so cute though, especially the pink one with the sequins. I love her. Yes, I got three of them and then I got my daughter the fourth one. But aren't they cute? And they stand about, I think I measured yeah, 14 inches tall. And I have a video on here of some Christmas ones I did last year. I upgraded them some. And I will list that down in the description box below if you guys want to check it out. Just click on it. And look at these adorable, I guess they're supposed to be Valentine socks. But I would wear these all the time. Especially this one with the coffee and donuts that says you and me. And... The little sloth that says don't leave me hanging and then I got the gnomes and these gray heart ones you can wear all the time so they're so cute and I almost forgot these these little kitty cats with their heart glasses on and here's some of the shorter little gnome ones and little trucks And check out these. I guess they're for guys, but I had to get the bass fishing. My dad bass fished, and I had to get those and the dinosaurs. I love this. Keep calm. I'll fix it. <laughs> and the deer and the bear and especially those beer mugs. Gotta have beer mug socks. And footballs. And not that I'm planning on getting these anytime soon, but they have the diabetic socks now in lavender and pink. They used to just come in black and white. So this is pretty cool. And it says on the tag, non-binding, binding, extra wide top, soft cushion sole, and smooth toe seam. And they also come in a greenish blue. Look at this gnome fabric they got in. I found a couple rolls of it. Someone had already ripped this one open. So cute. And look at these bath bombs. They have X's and O's and hearts. Oh my gosh, that's cute. That would make a cute gift for Valentine's Day. And then they had, believe it or not, these are real eyelashes. They look like a lollipop and they were just adorable. They had all these containers for Valentine's Day. You could fill this up with your loved one's favorite candies or these cute little stuffed animals or jewelry. Whatever you're giving them, here there's some baskets and some containers that you can put anything in. And then they also had these Valentine sacks or gift bags, drawstring, in red and pink and you get two in a package and then these headbands they just remind me so much of Minnie Mouse ears and the little gnomes on the stakes and they had these I guess I would call them hair ties in the shape of hearts and they had this cotton twine in colors for Valentine's Day And these scarves, very pretty scarves. And look at these crackle glasses or vases or whatever you want to use. Well, they're not drinking glasses. And then here's some vases. But I love the crackle ones. And then look at these. The one is a bright pink and the other one is like a iridescent. And then there's a clear color. And look at these nice containers. There's so much you could do with these craft-wise. And then look at these that look like cookie jars. 
you can put it up straight and put it on its side and these taller ones there's so much you can do with these guys use them as canisters and look at these i just found these yesterday they're pretty good size that's pretty cool and oh my gosh guys look at these they're succulent candles and it says, this is my happy place. Love grows here. And live what you love. How stinking cute are they? Oh my goodness. And then they got some more new succulents in, in the little pots. And these are a little smaller than the ones they usually carry, but the colors were so pretty. Got a few of those. And I got the glass heart-shaped dish. I'm going to try to do something with these guys in it. And look at this. I guess it's like a spritzer bottle. They're so cute. I love the colors. And look at these. I have never seen these in colors before. I've always seen the clear. And this obviously comes in the bright pink and the blue. And then this style, this also comes in the clear. I've never seen it in the color. And they're, the clear is usually down the party aisle. But these are so pretty. They're the slanted ones. They come obviously in the pink and the pretty turquoise blue and purple. And this was just some other plastic wear they had on the stand. So I wanted to show you that. And look at these. Oh my word, they had so many. And it's called a trifle. Triple, trifle, <laughs> trifle container, but you can put just about anything in it. It's a pretty good size. And I'll show you with my hand in a minute. So it's a pretty good size. You can get a pretty good amount of things in there. And just for reference, I'm going to take you down to the party aisle and show you the clear color and show you the clear ones. Here's the slanted one, and here's the scalloped edge one. I mean, there's so much you can do with these too. You can use your Cricut on these. There's a lot you can do with these. And these seem to come and go. And like the ones I showed you before with the glass, these two stand on their bottom or stand on their side. And I'll show you in a second. So while we were on plastics, I just saw these yesterday in one of my stores. So I thought I would bring these back out for you to see. And that's reference showing you my hand and how big it is. And aren't these fancy? I just love these. And boy, did they get in a lot of these. They are so pretty. And my store's got in a lot of these containers. They got this deviled egg container. Or you could just put a dozen eggs in there or however many it holds. I didn't count how many it was. Put it in your refrigerator like that. And here's how it looks all closed up. And it even has a handle. And then here's the cupcake one. Now, in past years, it's usually been red. I think this is my first time seeing a white one. It looks like it holds nine cupcakes. Take them to school for your little one's birthday or to a neighbor's house or to a party that you're going to. And as you can see, this one too has a handle. And here's Old Faithful the cake dish holder. They've had this one for a long time. I thought these were cute. Little jewelry or trinket holders in black, off-white, and a gray. And look at this one. Happily ever after. Or a heart and a diamond ring. And that's a double one. And look at these toothbrush and cup holders. 
they come with suction cups on the back. There's also a soap dish, but I wouldn't put that in my shower. So maybe you're supposed to put it on your medicine cabinet mirror. I'm not sure, but it came in a charcoal color and then a clear color. And then here's the soap dish. Now that I would definitely put in the shower, but I thought they were pretty cool looking. Just not sure how you would suction that up. I don't think you want your toothbrush and your cup holder in your shower. And I just thought these were so cute. Candle snuffers. I mean, you can blow your candles out, but if they're low down in a candle holder like they show in this picture here, this is pretty cool. And it comes in gold, black, silver, and copper. And it says, great for safely extinguishing candles with no mess. That's pretty cool. And boy, did my stores get the St. Patrick's Day items in. There's a lot. Look at those headbands. Oh my goodness. I think everyone's Irish on St. Patrick's Day, don't they say? <laughs> Unpainted wood. I also have a video I did on one of those. I'll link that below too. If you want to click on it and see what I did. I think I did a pour painting on that. I'm going to give that a check and see how to do pour painting. All these little fillers, window clings. Hit these cute little guys. Look at the one that's upside down in the pot of gold. <laughs> These are really cute. Here's some. And also, if you make gnomes, these little buckets are really good for making the shoes. There's videos online about that. Look at these cute signs. And this one says Shamrock Aaron Go Prague. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. St. Patrick's Day, a rainbow, leprechaun, kiss me, I'm Irish, pot of gold, and lucky. They have all these fillers and picks. Oh my gosh, and they have bow ties. Oh, how cute. And regular ties, necklaces, gold coins for your pot of gold. And they have these hats either for St. Patty's Day or you can use these for your gnomes. Put fabric on them. Here are some infinity scarves for St. Patrick's Day. And over to the right, there are some cute socks. Look, here we go. There's gnomes and gnomes everywhere. Not sure how the dogs fit in, but they're cute. I think that's a kitty. And so lucky. And these these are more, more like the Chanel 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 socks. These are a little bit thicker. And look at these cute St. Patty's Day hats. Oh my goodness. Kiss me, I'm Irish. And they had these table signs, leprechauns welcome, Irish wishes and shamrock kisses, a truckload of luck. And says that again, leprechauns welcome. And even before St. Patty's Day is Mardi Gras. And my store had a lot of Mardi Gras items in. Check this out. Gotta have the beads and necklaces. That sad face decoration. Banners. Garland. Holographic horns. I think they just stuck them there for the birthday section. <laughs> This decoration for Mardi Gras, and look at the crowns, aren't they cute? And 
then over on this display, they had some of the party poppers. A couple different ones. Looks like a champagne bottle, more beads and necklaces. And this one had cool masks. And more beads. And more masks. And even cups. That's the first time I've seen them. Okay, now if this works, this is really cool. A window and door alarm. Easy to install alert system. Alarm sounds when window, door, or cabinet is opened. Deters crime. Now if that works, that's really a great deal for $1.25. And here's something I know I've never seen here before. Quick survive fire starter lights any fire fast. I guess if you're camping or lost, I always see the brown cotton twine, but they have in white cotton twine now. 420 feet. And you know what? No one seems to really go over all the tools that they have. So I'm going to give you a quick overview. You can just take a look at everything they carry. And this one was really stocked. There's that brown twine. There's those teeny tiny little tools I did in my previous video. Like one and a half one by one and a half, I think, the tape measure and the little level. And these crafters use a lot. There's little felt pads with adhesive. And here's a long reach and pickup. That's pretty cool if you have some sort of back problems or if something just fell where you can't reach it and they even have levels full-size level and they have these furniture scratch markers and if you've never been to a Dollar Tree you'd be shocked at some of the things they're carrying and rumor has it don't mark my words but rumor has it that they're going to be ca carrying even better items since they went up to a dollar 25 so i'm not sure exactly what that means and then here's some items for your car they even have google on And check these out. Not sure how well they work, but it says leather and vinyl protector, upholstery and carpet cleaner, foaming wheel cleaner, and glass and clone, glass and clone, <laughs> glass and clone cleaner, chrome shop towels, this auto bucket. I guess it's like an ashtray, I think. And they have more, they have utility towels. And I'm also going to show you some of the pet items. Look at this ball launcher. Yellow, pink, and blue. And check this out. It is a doggy treat puzzle. So I guess you put the treats under those little things and they have to try to get them out to get their treat. I make something like that, but not like that, <laughs> that they have to work at to get their treats. We got cat toys. All these dog toys and bones and more cat items. And look at the fish. I had to get the green one. It reminded me of my dad, so I'm going to let my doggy play with it. Here's some more cat toys. And they got in some new, unpainted, lighted little pieces in. Look like little houses and little shapes. It says, home sweet home. This is my happy place. Thankful, grateful, and blessed. 
and count your blessings. Someone had already turned that one on. I didn't turn that one on. And this is something new to me, or for me at the store. Artificial fern stakes. And I believe I counted four in there. They're pretty good size, too. And they got these garlands in with different leaves. And serrated pruning shears. Floral scissors. Down here, serrated pruners in pink. Bypass pruning shears, never heard of those. And over here we have needle point pruner, which looks like needle nose pliers to me. And over here are some cute little signs if you grow these things that will look cute in your garden. And I would probably take the ropes off of these and just use them as stones, just like the ones that are below them. These cute little stones with sayings on them. And here's a new paintbrush set. There's seven in there. It says brush value pack. All-purpose brushes for use with most paints. And there's several different ones in there. There's a sponge one in there. There's a wide one in there. Creativity made easy. That's a really good deal. And then they had Martha Stewart paint, but they only had one color, Pacific Moss. And where else can you get Cricut-like tools for $1.25? They have scrapers, they call it a picker, but it's a weeder. They have the spatula. And they have the scoring tool and the permanent writable white sticker paper. And the roller cutter, which I've said before that I've used and I have used that on fleece and it worked really well. And check these out. USB wall plugs. Are you kidding me? For $1.25? It says one amp. Compatible with USB powered devices like your cell phone, iPad, laptop. And check out these stylus pens I'm going to show you. They're stylus pens. Pens. And they also hold up your cell phone. I bought it. I'm going to do a little video at the end and show you how it well works but there's another one I want to show you this one too I didn't buy the next one but I want to show you what this one does and here's the other one Let me show you a close-up of what it does I should have got one of these too I always do that so here's a close-up it's a ballpoint pen a stylus has a phone stand and a screen cleaner and it says works with most touch screen devices that's even cooler if it works with your touch screen devices and they got in some new sensory bracelets which they're calling these pop snap bangles so this one doesn't have an opening it just goes right over your hand that's where I got my finger pricked and my band-aid comes in these two colors or array of colors I should say and they just got in these furry they're calling them pencil pouches but I would use it as a cosmetic bag or for something else but here's the three that they have to choose from And then they had all these sleep masks, eye masks. I just wanted to give you a look at those. Different colors and patterns. 
seem to be different brands because they have different labeling. Let me get that plaid one out so you can see it. There you go, red, blue. I believe there was a green. Let's see. There's a gray. And there's green. We have Nap Queen. I'ma stay in bed. <laughs> Not must stay. I'ma stay in bed. Wake me up for wine. <laughs> Cute. I don't think I could wear one of them. And here's just a couple name brand food items I thought you might be interested in. Bumblebee, wild caught light tuna and water, spicy Thai chili and chipotle. And the first one said, sandwich in seconds. Old El Paso taco shells, 10 in a box for $1.25. Wow. Velveeta cheese sauce. All these things to go on tacos. Or maybe in your chili, there's chili beans. Okay. So, I ran out to get this one. <laughs> I wanted to demo this one for you guys. I ran out to get it, so I'm going to open it with you guys, and let's remember what it all, what all it has. It has a ballpoint pen, a stylus, a phone stand, and a screen cleaner. Works with most touchscreen devices, so I'm going to try it out with my iPad. I have that off to the side, so let me open it with you. It's all new to me. Okay, there she is. Okay, this is the cleaner, and this is the iPad cell phone stand. Okay, so let's try her out. I'm going to first try it as a pen, and let's figure out which way it goes. Okay, so you turn this to get the pen out, turn the bottom, okay, hear that clicking? I have a tablet right here. Okay, ready? Let's see. Julie. All right. We know it writes. Okay, let's see how it is as a stylus. Let's get my iPad. And let's click on something. Let's click on Prime Video. Okay, that worked. Alrighty, we'll just click on anything. Uh, let's see, Hotel Transylvania. Alright, that works. Let's put this away. And the main thing I'm looking forward to finding out is how well this is going to hold up to hold the cell phone up. So, we did the ballpoint pen, the stylus, and this screen cleaner. Well, we didn't use it, but here we go. We'll use it on my cell phone. There's the screen cleaner. Black part. Put it down on my cell phone. And I hope it's cleaning it. Okay. So let's close it. And let's see how we're supposed to set it up. Phone stand. Shows it like this. I have a case on it, and it's not going on real well with the case. I'm shoving it in there, so it's in there now. There it is. A little, little wibbly-wobbly. A little bit. Maybe it's because I have a... Yeah, I still have a little bit of space there, so... And I could push it down into... Let's see if I can get it down in there. Because I think if it's down in there further, your phone probably sits a little bit flatter maybe on these two sides and it wouldn't be so wibbly wobbly but if you're just sitting there watching something it's not going to wobble until you touch it so there we go with that one that's the one i really wanted to show you guys because it has so many things for a dollar 25 it offers a lot so let's try one of these 
This is the other one. This one doesn't have the screen cleaner on it, but it also comes with two pens. So let's see. And this one is, it just says, oh, it's just a, this one is just a stylus and a cell phone or electronic holder. Yeah, let's try it on my iPad. Let's go back. Okay, we're trying the new one on my iPad. Let's go backwards. And we'll press Led Zeppelin. Okay, so it works on that as a stylus. But my question is, let's see how they hold it here. Same way, pretty much the same way. It just slides into this part right here. Again with the case. Oh, push it on. Oh, this one went. Better. Oh, that one went on there better. Yeah, that sits a little better too. The other one has more options in the stylus pen, but this one is. I mean, it's a little wibbly wobbly. But again, it's got the case on it, so it may fit flatter without the case. But I'm happy with it. But it's not a pen. So that's probably why you get two of them. So that was the biggest thing I wanted to show you guys. And there they are. And I have quite a few more things to show you. Okay, so I decided to try it out for you on my iPad. So this is the green one. And my iPad is out of the case. It's a li little bit wobbly. And it told me, oh, <laughs> apparently it wasn't holding it up as well as I thought. Well, let's try the other one. Okay, so you can't see this one, but it is the purple one to this one. This is the one with just the stylus and the cell phone holder or iPad holder. And it's the purple one. And it is actually right there, but it's blending in with the black down there. But... It is tilting a little bit, but as far as holding the iPad a little better, I'm pushing on the iPad like I just did with the other one, and that one's holding up a little better. It seems a little flatter, so I would probably use it with my cell phone, but not my iPads. Okay, and here's the four gnomes. Still cute as anything. And what I wanted to show you here was first four gnomes that I got, Valentine gnomes, compared to the ones that they have now in the store. Let me show you these guys. I'm going to put these up next to these. Okay, that's the ones they had first. That's my chair making all that noise. one and the very last one is the little brown one and there's the little brown one with his hat's down so he looks even shorter so that's how much the gnomes have changed since the little teeny ones came out which i think i measured at let's see how big they are let's go from the top of their hat and they measure let's see one is from the top of his hat to his foot he is about seven and a half inches and the width from arm to arm like this is about five and a half inches and then like I said the big ones in the back I measured are 14 inches and what I wanted to show you, I have the couple that I kind of upgraded last Christmas, the Christmas ones that came out. And I want to show you the difference in how they look now compared to these guys that I got today, the big ones. Okay. Can you tell the difference? <laughs> Can you see what I spruced up about the two in the middle? Now these two look like these guys before they started out. And what I did was, 
I trimmed their beards underneath some and I have fur because I make gnomes and gnome puppies and I have videos on my channel that shows you how to make the gnome puppies and I took the fur and I made new beards on this one and this one I just love the way this one looks because it kind of blends in and of course I put the boots on them and I think I paid like a dollar ninety nine a pair for those boots that was at Christmas time it was in the Christmas decorations and I put some fur on the top of each hat and fur on their sleeves see the fur on their sleeves and here's a side view of the boots aren't they cute so let's see basically I changed the beard the boots and the cuffs and the top of the hat and I said the beards right so and the taller much taller <laughs> They're a lot taller than she is but they're so cute! All four of them are so and this is my fave. She is just a cutie with her little pigtails. You can't see her bow on this side, but there's her bow on this side and her bow on that side. And she's just too cute! So there you go. That's the two that I made last year. And I will put a link in the description box below in case you want to see how I did that. Okay, and here's some of the other things I got. And I measured the ball plug and it measures two and a half from back here to the top of this prong that goes in the ball outlet and about one and a quarter this way. So that goes to show you how tiny that is and how small this little screwdriver set is. But I just think they're adorable. I just love that tape measure. And I almost forgot to show you guys these. These are those screwdrivers I was looking for because they have the teeny tiny little flatheads and Phillips. So I bought a couple of these because they just came back out. So I got that. And in a previous video, I think it was my last video, I showed this. And it's one of those little like calendar blocks. So it was so cute, the little house. And then here's the gnome fabric that I got. I showed you in this video. Like I said, somebody had opened that other one. I didn't open it, but I found a box with some rolls in it. Here he is. Like that. And I got a few pairs of socks, but I don't know where the rest are. I got this one. This is lucky and I know it. <laughs> I don't know about that. I wish I was a little luckier these days but and I actually had this in a previous video. I think it was my last video but I just opened it. I didn't even know what was inside. This is what I said I was going to probably get. Well I am probably going to use it for my GoPro because I don't believe there's a real camera out there these days that's this small. <laughs> Let me measure it real quick. Let's measure it. It is four and a quarter wide by about three and a quarter high, and the depth is let's see what the depth is. The depth is one and a half. So it's one and a half. But this is why I wanted to show it to you in this video. Watch this. Take the foam out. I just started to pull it out a little bit. I was like, oh, surprise! Look at this. It has a strap. I mean, come on. For $1.25, you can use, let's say you have travel makeup brushes or other things. I'm a photographer, so I have several things that can fit in here. Batteries. Matter of fact, I didn't even think of that. I could probably get about three batteries in there. I need to go back and see if they still have some more of these. Oh my goodness. Makeup. I have your purse with all the little things that are usually at the bottom of your purse that you can't find. Lip balms and things like that. How cool is that? For $1.25, are you kidding me? 
cool and it's got a magnetic closure hear that that is too cool for a dollar 25 for real and a strap oh my goodness okay and i wanted to quick show you that my gopro does fit in there but i have the gopro 7 and i think the ones after seven these little prongs right here go flat and on this one they don't go flat so it would fit perfectly if these went down so it doesn't close quite as tightly as i would like it to but that's because of the gopro 7. but if you have a newer model it'll probably fit perfectly it should but like i said i'm going to also use it for my camera batteries I just wanted to show that to you guys. I mean, it's okay. I'm just bringing out all the stops. And to give you a look, see, here's a couple of my camera batteries. Fit perfectly in there. And it does close. Let's get that magnetic closure snap. Okay, and here is the fishy. That is actually a cat toy that I got for my dog. Don't tell my dog. <laughs> And that, let me measure that. It's a pretty good size, actually. Let's see. Let's see how long it is. It is 12 inches. That's a pretty nice size cat toy. And then here is the furry. It says pencil pouch, but I'm going to use it for other things, probably cosmetics or something else. Not so furry. That's so cute. Okay. And here's the glass containers that I decided on. And this one is actually six and a half and four and a half in diameter. And let me measure this one real quick. This one's kind of squarish looking. It looks like it's the same shape as that one. That one's round. This one is five inches high. And the diameter is three and a quarter. This has some squareness to it. It's and then this one is more round, and I this is really big. And just a reminder, I will be putting a couple links in my description box below of a couple of videos that I did that I told you about throughout this video of how to pour paint on the clover, the St. Patrick's Day clover, and also the gnomes. How I made the gnomes look different and what I did to do that and I will put that below in the description box and I got this I never used to be this much into gnomes I don't know what it is but I think they're just so cute and every place seems to have them right now it's not why I'm into them I just think they're cute so I got that and I'll give you the dimensions on that hold on a second it is 11 inches wide by 11 inches and a quarter so I hope you guys enjoyed this video this is the first time I've done a haul in quite some time so we gotta come with me to the Dollar Tree and a haul and I hope you enjoyed it and to my subscribers again we did it we're over a thousand and I am so appreciative and if you're not yet a subscriber, I hope you will be. I really appreciate it. And thanks again for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.